So today, guys, I'm answering the question, how often should you train? So how often should you train? It depends on what your level is and how much you're already training. So I think I'll put it into three levels, really. The first level is a beginner. So someone who doesn't train at all and you want to come into fitness. Well, once a week is a good start. I mean, it's kind of, if you can get consistent at training once a week, it's just a good way to go. It's manageable. If you come into fitness, you've never trained before, you've never gone to the gym before, and you say, right, I'm going to do three, four times a week, I think that's unrealistic. I think if you just say, right, I'm going to definitely do one session a week as my minimum dose, and even if that session is a half an hour session, then that's still valuable. So when you're first coming to fitness, getting into the routine of doing something one time a week is a great start point. Once you've got into that habit, then you're going to look to increase that because one time a week when you're starting, you will see results, but very quickly that will start to plateau after two or three months of just doing that one session a week. So once you've trained and you're, and you're a regular of doing that one a week, try to increase that. Now, my minimum dose really that I want people to do is three sessions of intensity a week. Now, whether that intensity comes from lifting weights or some high intensity interval training or maybe some um, harder cardio work, whatever that is, or a class, three times a week, I would think would be the minimum effective dose to see some, some real progress in your fitness. I think two times a week, the rest period can get too long. For example, if you train on a Monday and a Wednesday and then suddenly you don't train again until the following Wednesday, Thursday, that's a whole seven days without training. So I think three times a week, you know, have maybe one or two rest days between each session. That's a good way to, to work and improve that fitness. So I'd say for the average person who just wants to get, get a little bit fitter and maintain that improvement, then three times a week is a good number to strive for. Now, if you're already doing that and you want to get fitter still, you've reached a plateau, then you do need to increase the frequency um, and to some extent the intensity possibly as well of your workouts. If you're looking to get to from you know, an average gym goer that's pretty fit to super fit and see some real results and, and, and bigger changes to your body composition, and you need to up that number to four or five sessions a week. I would never train for more than three days in a row. Some people are afraid of training two days in a row, but if you manage your programming, so the way you, you plan your workouts correctly, then you should be able to train for three days in a row without any ill effects. Obviously, those three days, ideally, are not going to be, I know there are some methods to do this, but they're not going to be you know, squats on a Monday, squats on a Tuesday, squats on a Wednesday. You're definitely not going to, your legs aren't going to like you if you start doing stuff like that. But if you're, in, if you're doing maybe a heavy leg day on a Monday, and then more of a cardio-based day on a Tuesday, and an upper body on a Wednesday, and then you're taking Thursday's active rest, that's quite a good mix, and you're not going to suffer from you know, the effects of what people would class as maybe overtraining, which is possibly an overused word. Um, in amongst that, though, as well, if you're looking to get to the next level, you need to look at your weaknesses and work on those as well. So if your weakness is mobility, then you can add that into your sessions and add that on top of what you're doing at the moment. Now that may be, depending on your time, that may be that your intensity work it needs to be shortened so you can fit in the mobility work, or obviously in an ideal case, you'd have two, two sessions. So maybe a session where you work on your strength stuff and then a shorter session where you work on mobility stuff. But you've got to find those weaknesses because if you're looking to move yourself to that next level of fitness, then you have to put flexibility and mobility in amongst that. The other thing you need to look at in those trainings is what you're doing on those rest days. So sitting around on your backside all day isn't the ideal rest day, believe it or not. We want those rest days to still be active, but a nice, pleasant recovery um, movement. So going out for a walk, playing a, a, a friendly game of sport, but if you can't play sport without getting super intense, super crazy, then don't do that, rule that one out. But if you can play like a light game, um, squash, tennis, something like that, that would be great. Or just a nice, yeah, like I say, a nice walk is another good way to work with it as well. So plan your uh, recovery days. You could put mobility work into those recovery days as well. If you didn't want to put them back to back on a, on a Monday or something like that, you want to have it in your active rest day on a Thursday, that's another good way to go about it. Now, as you increase 
your training intensity and your training frequency, then your nutrition side of things becomes more important because obviously you're putting your body under greater and greater strain, so you need to make sure that you're fueling it correctly. Okay, so you need to look at that nutrition side as well. So a lot of times, and sleep, because a lot of times people come uh, and they, they increase the amount of their training and then they start suffering and the results drop off. Now, two things, well, you've got to look at three things then. You've got to look at, okay, how intense are those sessions? Okay, are they maybe doing too much of, of a certain movement or is it just too much intensity? Are they not getting enough sleep um, or are they not eating properly? Because generally, some of those effects that you might feel from overtraining might just be from um, undersleeping or under eating or eating the wrong stuff. But you definitely need, if you are training more, to get that, that programming managed properly because I've seen some people training here that do their CrossFit wad and then they'll go to the gym and do a super intense bodybuilding session in the afternoon and they'll come the next day and do the same. And actually what they'll probably find is they'll deteriorate because they're going to get, suffer from much more injury from overuse. So you need to really work um, with a good professional, hope, ideally, because they're going to give, they'll be able to manage the program to fit around what you plan on doing and what your goals are. So don't just think more is better, okay? Sometimes more isn't better, but doing the right stuff is going to help you. So summarize that for you. If you're coming new to fitness, try to just get one session a week. Try, don't come in and try and overdo it straight away because you're just going to burn yourself out and you're not going to sort of create that passion and love for actually training. If you've done that introductory phase of two or three months of doing one a week, then start to increase that. And if you want to get to a next level of fitness, so if you're already at model level, you want to get to the next level, you're going to need to increase the frequency with which you are training. And whether that means coming to the gym or whether that means doing some more stuff at home, that's something you need to consider. Hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching guys. Please put any comments or questions below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook. Thanks.